let's take a look quickly at the um, CSEC mathematics syllabus this is the 2018 version the one that was released in 2018 it says this ver revised version published 2016 all right let's look at a few of the fine prints <coughs> permission to copy this the material in this book is copyright however the publisher grants permission for copies to be made without fee individuals may make copy for their own use or for use by classes of which they are in charge institutions may make copies for use within and by staff and students of that institution <coughs> for copying in any other circumstances prior permission in writing must be obtained from Macmillan's Publishers Limited under no circumstances may the material in this book be used in part or in its entirety for commercial gain it must not be sold in any format all right so we have that notice copyright notice <coughs> of the list of subject reports that were done let's look at summary of syllabus and new syllabus approved by sub sec CSEC Mathematics. The CSEC Mathematics syllabus addresses the personal development and educational needs of Caribbean students by encapsulating a variety of skills integral to everyday life and prerequisites for entering environments of work and academia. These skills include critical and creative thinking, problem solving, logical reasoning, modeling ability, teamwork, decision-making, research techniques, information, communication, and technological competencies for lifelong learning. <coughs> the syllabus also uniquely details a smooth progression of concepts that caters for students with primary or rudimentary knowledge of mathematics, and it can be easily subdivided to match the curricula of different grades within the local high schools. Moreover, it is centrally positioned within the CXC sequence of examinations, bridging the CPEA and the CCSLC with the additional and K mathematics syllabuses. The competencies and certification acquired upon completion of this course of study is comparable with the mathematics curricula of high schools worldwide. Alright, you have nine sections from section 1 to 9. There is number theory and computation. That's section 1. Section 2, consumer arithmetic sets is in section three measurements in section four statistics under section five section six algebra section seven relations functions and graphs section eight geometry and trigonometry and section nine vectors and matrices this syllabus is effective for examination from may june 2018. here it says all rights reserved no parts of this publication may be reproduced stored in a retrieval system or transmitted in any form by any means electronic photocopying recording or otherwise without prior permission of the author or publisher all right these are the contents this is a table of contents so we have all of these things here this is what 
the first publication was 19 in 1977 okay in 71 it was rev uh, in 81 it was revised that's what four years later then another four years revised in 85 then you had seven years before it was revised again in 1992 92 nine years it stood until 2001 then seven years later in 2008 and then was revised again in 2016 okay now let's look at the rationale of the syllabus the caribbean society is an integral part of an ever-changing world the impact of globalization on most societies encourage this diverse Caribbean region to revisit the education and career opportunities of our current and future citizens. A common denominator of the Caribbean societies is to create among its citizens a plethora of quality leadership with the acumen required to make meaningful projections and innovations for future development mm. further learning appropriate problem solving techniques inherent to the study of mathematics is vital for such learners mathematics promotes intellectual development is is utilitarian and applicable to all disciplines additionally it's aesthetics and epistemological approaches provide solutions fit for any purpose therefore mathematics is the essential tool to empower people with the knowledge competencies and attitudes which are precursors for this dynamic world the syllabus addresses the personal development and educational needs of caribbean students by encapsulating a variety of skills integral to everyday life and prerequisites for entering environments of work and academia. These skills include critical and creative thinking, problem solving, logical reasoning, modeling ability, teamwork, decision making, research techniques, information communication and technological competencies for lifelong learning, a full stop the syllabus also uniquely details a smooth progression of concepts that caters for students with primary or rudimentary knowledge of mathematics and it can be easily subdivided to match the criteria the curricula of the different grades within the local high schools moreover it is centrally positioned within the cxc sequence of examinations bridging the CPEA and CCSLC with the additional and the Cape mathematics syllabuses. Additionally, the competencies and certification acquired upon completion of this course of study is comparable to the mathematics curricula of high schools worldwide. Oh, this is a repetition of what we had seen earlier. This part here the few last few sentences in consideration of educational support the syllabus provides teachers with useful approaches and techniques and it points to resources which are suitable for every learning style the syllabus will contribute to the development of ideal Caribbean of the ideal Caribbean person as articulated by the CARICOM heads of government in the following areas. What do you have? Demonstrate multiple literacies, independent and critical thinking, and innovative application of science and technology to problem solving. Such a person should also demonstrate a positive work attitude and value and display creative imagination and entrepreneurship in keeping with the unesco pillars of learning and completion of this course of study students will learn to do learn and be learn to be 
well students will let me read that part again in keeping with the UNESCO pillars of learning on completion of this course of study students will be will learn to do learn to be and learn to transform themselves and society whoa let's just finish off with the aims of the syllabus the syllabus aims to make mathematics relevant to the interests and experiences of students by helping them to organize or to helping them to recognize mathematics in local and global environment to keep students help students appreciate the use of mathematics as a form of communication three help students acquire a range of mathematical techniques and skills to foster and maintain the awareness of the importance of accuracy for help students develop positive attitudes such as open-mindedness resourcefulness persistence and the spirit of inquiry five prepare students for the use of mathematics in future in further studies six helps students foster a spirit of collaboration not only with their peers but with others within the wider community seven help students apply the knowledge and skills acquired to solve problems in everyday situations and eight integrate information communication and technology ict tools and skills in the teaching and learning process oh that was quite a mouthful so i know that probably you are not very motivated to sit down and read through the syllabus all right so that's what i'm doing right now but remember think about the material that are here because they would help you to appreciate the value of the way the syllabus is organized and mathematics itself all right next time we will look at organization of the syllabus and look at other items at a later date okay so i'll see you later